What's been achieved here over the years is obviously pretty remarkable, given that it began as one man's idea. That Colton Hume said, you know, I'm fed up with seeing so many people on the streets around the cathedral where I'm the Archbishop. We've got to do something about it. And so 25 years ago, he did something about it. Cardinal Hume was described by Pope John Paul as a pastor of great spiritual and moral character. That was evident to those of us who had the privilege of meeting him. He had a great sense of humour and he was of course very keen on sport, which made him very popular with young people. Um, he really understood the ordinary things of life, but at the same time he could focus on the depths of life very, very quickly. Cardinal Hume was a Benedictine monk before he was Archbishop of Westminster. So he brought with him the tradition of the Benedictine monastery. Now the Benedictine monastery is above all a sanctuary. Its rootedness is in the tradition of being a place where people can come to find rest and support, which is what we mean by sanctuary. The Cardinal Hume Centre is always worth supporting because of its unique ability to take the resources that you give them and multiply its effectiveness in a way that if you actually gave it directly to the person in need, it wouldn't be as effective. It's very tempting to think, if I give a fiver to this guy on the street, that actually that's the most effective way to help him, but it isn't. You give that fiver to someone like the Cardinal Hume Centre, they will take it and use it to help that person on the street to make a long-term improvement, as opposed to just blowing the five quid that day. The Cardinal Hume Centre faces a lot of challenges in the future. As the government cuts its funding to places such as this, we have to find more resources coming in. Secondly, as the government cuts affect the country generally, there'll be more people whom the Cardinal Hume Centre will need to help as they lose benefits and so on. If Cardinal Hume is alive today, I'd want to say thank you very much for having the inspiration to start the centre. And uh, you should know that it's still in very good hands.